one between the Arizona Cardinals and the Cleveland Browns. Now the big leg of Matt Prater ready to get this one started. And off we go from Cleveland. And we will not see a run back on the opening kickoff. This will be a touchback. Start on the ground with Nick Chubb. Oh, he's got some breathing room. And he's free going down the left side. It's a foot race. And all the way in. Touchdown, Cleveland. Nick Chubb, 75 yards. And the Browns are on the board first here this afternoon. Extra point by York is up and good. And it's now a 7-0 game. ready and here we go as he sends this one away on the return Rondell Moore will bring it out and only able to get this to the 19 so probably should have opted for the touchback Murray and the Cardinals with a first and 10 at their own 19-yard line. carry for James Conner and he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards but no more than that second down look all any running back wants is a little bit of room a little bit of space in order to maneuver but he also understands how difficult it is for his offensive line up front so if they give him any space he realizes his job to make more out of it than what they give him picks up three on that carry meanwhile Murray's throw pulled in by Hopkins a Cardinal first down, Murray to Hopkins. Now they'll throw here out of the gun. And this is caught. It's Brown. Touchdown. Hollywood, Marquise Brown. 69 yards. And the Cardinals are able to strike back quickly with an opening touchdown of their own. Well, go ahead and strap in, partner. We, <laughs> less than two minutes in, had the score on the one side. A quick answer, though, to get the equalizer. Sometimes you get that sense of urgency that ratchets up, right? When you give up an early touchdown like that, you just know you're like, okay, how do we go back and equalize things? Can we get it done fast? And they absolutely did. Essentially, we're back to even, aren't we? Extra point good by Prater, and we are tied at seven.
Each team's had it. Each team has scored. 7-7 here as the kick's away. And it'll come out to the 25 as he will not attempt to return. The Cleveland offense ready to go. Well, partner, you know, coaches always say that every play is designed to score a touchdown. Sometimes that's not really true, but last drive, that was the case. One play to get into the end zone, and now they'll try to duplicate that success here. And it's rare for those moments to happen. Incredible when they do. And you saw the celebration. Pure, unbridled joy after that one. The first down run got five. Here's second and five. First carry now for Kareem Hunt. And he'll earn a couple of tough yards past the 30 to the 31. Typically, we think it's the strong safeties that are better tacklers, especially closer to the line of scrimmage amidst traffic. But in this case, how about the free safety coming up and making the big-time play? Watson. Got an open man. That's David Njoku, the tight end. A big play that time for Cleveland. 46 yards. Well, partner, I'm not sure how this drive's going to end, but how about the way they flip field position there? A nice attacking play that picked up a heck of a chunk of yardage. So the big play gets them all the way down to the outskirts of the red zone here for first and 10. Up the middle, it's Chubb. And that'll hurt the average a bit as this time they're able to get him behind the line. The defense showing some anger after giving up the big play. This time they'll lose one or two. So after the loss of a yard, they'll look to push forward here on second down and 11. Well, that's not an easy play for a defensive end because most of his responsibility has him getting upfield and working. But how about his vision to see where the play was going? Crashed down inside and tackled him for a loss. A loss of one, now a loss of two, and they're staring at a third and 13. And not a lot of success to be found there. Oh, you got that right, partner, because if you're trying to make guys miss about 10 yards or so downfield, that's a pretty good play. But if you've got to do it in your own backfield, I consider that a problem. That doesn't work too well. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Looking for Cooper, and it's intercepted. Picked by Nick Vigil, and the Cards are going to take over at their own 30-yard line. Well, he had to fit that into a pretty tight window over the middle, and Charles, I think they were in zone defensively, weren't they? They certainly were. Nice read on your part, and sometimes the quarterback isn't fooled between zone and man. Sometimes just fooled by the type of zone that he sees. Because oftentimes, those linebackers will vacate and run downfield with receivers. In this case, he played a pure zone and was in the wrong spot for the QB. From the 39, Murray over the middle complete. It's Brown. He had the touchdown earlier. This one's going to get him a first down. These two teams all tied after one. <laughs> Throwing on first down is Murray. And complete to Zach Ertz. And he is out of bounds inside the 35. A good pick up there, 21 yards. That's a pretty throw right there. That ball's in the air a long time. But it's right on the money on the right sideline. A really good route. Moving the defenders towards the middle of the field before breaking to the sideline. What a completion there. Big time arm strength. Very nice route.
Well, the offense knew it. They were already starting to walk back as that one is accepted. Now they need 15 yards on this series after the delay of game. First and 15. Murray now to throw. Pass to Brown. He's got it on the crossing route. And he's brought down here just outside of the 20. And time to give some credit to the big fellows, the offensive line here, because you've got to have good protection on crossing routes because you've got to give your receiver time to work all the way across the field. That time, able to scan the field, spot his receiver moving left to right, and make a good, accurate throw. Thank you, guys. This will be caught once again by Brown. So they'll get nothing out of that play, and that will bring up second down. They'll fake it to Connor. Now Murray. And on the left sideline, he caught it, but out of bounds, according to the headlinesman. Incomplete. So the ball a little late getting there, and it's third down. Now play number seven of the drive as they're looking at a third and ten. To throw, it's Murray. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. Touchdown, Cardinals. A.J. Green from 21 yards away. And the cards have moved out in front. Well, on that connection, it looked like they maybe had some pre-play communication. Maybe one of them noticed an area that was open in the defense to get the pass to. When you put the time in, sometimes you have that great silent communication that you just noticed right there because the best quarterback receiver combos in the NFL, they know how to make those adjustments at the line of scrimmage when they see something pre-play, and they got it done there. Taken at the goal line. And he returns this to the 22. The Browns drive about to get started. As the offense comes out here, Charles, remember they threw the interception last time out, but they were moving the football down the field. Looked like they were going to have a sustained drive that ended in points, but then the pick ensued. And because of that, there's no way you can call the last drive a success. Yes, there are things to build on because they found some play calls at work. Now they've got... And it's intercepted! Picked by Trayvon Mullen. And the Cardinals are going to take possession as they've got it two-yard line. Second straight drive now here, Charles, that have ended with an interception. And I just wonder, because I don't think it's going to rattle him necessarily, but I also wonder if it's going to nerve him a little bit. Does it lead to another one, or does he find a way to pull it together and become sharp again? A quick throw there out to Williams. And he's able to take it across midfield before going out of bounds. So the completion results there in nine yards. And they'll have a second and one forthcoming. And a nice gain and a broken tackle along the way. And really, we shouldn't be surprised, should we? That's what runners do, especially the best ones. They break tackles and gain extra yardage. The last run got nine. That leaves him with second and a yard. Williams once more complete and they're going to get this to about the 44 yard line play fake Murray and he's taken down this will be a brown sack they don't need to run another play here before the two minute warning let's see if they do it anyway Go, go, 
We've hit the two-minute mark in the second quarter. 14 to 7. at once but you figure they're going to need something here 17 yards to go on second down there's Murray and he knocks the ball away and it falls incomplete I know conventional wisdom says hey don't get it all back in one play but sometimes you go ahead and try to they tried to get it all back on that one. Weren't able to do so. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. <laughs> to throw is Murray. Going deep for Hopkins. And he's got it inside the 10. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. What a first half this has been offensively. I mean, defensively, what do you do when you're getting torched like this? Now, these receivers are absolutely wearing them out, so two thoughts come to mind. One, get some oxygen. You fill up your lungs a little bit. And number two, talk to your guys up front. And he will get into the end zone. Touchdown, Arizona. James Conner. A three-yard touchdown run. And the Cardinals go up by two touchdowns. Prater for the extra point. And it's now 21-7. And after the touchdown, out is Prater to kick. Here comes Felton to bring it out of the end zone. And beyond the 20, but not by much. In fact, just a yard pass there to the 21. The Cleveland offense ready to go. And for this offense, Charles, you got to think kind of crucial here to put something together on this drive because remember last time out, they threw the interception on the very first play. And you can't afford to let this defense keep building any more momentum. They're playing awfully well, and they're awfully confident right now. To me, it's time to attack and take some of that momentum back. But make sure you're selective in doing so. Understand where you want to throw the football and make sure it's open before the ball leaves your hands. And he's going to have a Browns first down as he'll take this up to the 38-yard line. Now the offense going to use the first of their timeouts. As the clock stops here with 46 seconds remaining in the first half. On first down, it's Watson. And for the third time here in this half, it's intercepted. Isaiah Simmons picking it off. And he'll return this ball across midfield to the 47-yard line. An unfortunate sequence there, trying to get points before intermission, but now the interception, and their opponents have a chance to possibly pad their lead. Yeah, they had an opportunity there, and they weren't able to capitalize on it, and that's something that could come back and haunt them later. They're begging their defense now to keep them from scoring before the half ends. Good, 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 good. <laughs> After the turnover, here's Murray. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Brown. He'll get it inside the 20, and they'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds. Getting it to him in space pays off big time. That winds up going for 31. So the big play means just like that, they'll operate from the red zone now on first down. Here's Murray as he sets to throw it. On the slant complete to Hopkins. And the Cardinals are going to be looking at first and goal as they move this down to the four-yard line. How about the way they're moving the ball down the field? They had a big play a moment ago, followed it up with another nice one here. And Go before you know it, they're already looking at first and goal. Ooh. Throwing now is Murray. The quick slant caught. Touchdown! James Conner. In the final seconds of the first half. And the Cardinals will extend their lead here just before halftime. 
forward. Well, he is putting in a great all-around game, Charles. He already ran one in for a score, and now they utilize him in the passing game. And they put a lot of pressure on a defensive coordinator and defense, don't they? Because they're used to him as a runner. But it turns out he's just as dangerous as some of those receivers, and he showed it right there. You don't pay enough attention to him defensively, he makes you pay. Four seconds, all that remain here this first half as the kick gets away. Fields the squib kick right around the 30. And he'll be set up with good field position here as he gets this up past the 40-yard line. Any return that gets you to midfield is a great return. One first down, and you're almost in field goal position. The Browns drive about to get started. One second, all that remains. They begin this drive with Chubb. And a pretty good burst there as he'll get this across midfield and down to the 46. Time for a break. We've hit halftime. Two quarters down. Two still remain. We step aside. This is the NFL on EA Sports. And we welcome you back now. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, getting set for quarter number three here. The Cards with the lead, and they will get this football first as the second half gets started. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. Ready to go with their next drive, and at the line, the Cardinal offense. Going quickly out wide to Moore. And yeah, they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. Took just one play to move all the way to the 44 as they try again on first down. Murray going to throw. Nothing open downfield, so he'll throw it away. I see the surprise in your face there, partner. That is a rare incompletion from him. He's been on point this entire game. He has percentage completion-wise way up. Not that time. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. Now Murray. He's going to look deep end zone for Hopkins. And oh, it'll be intercepted. Picked off by Martin Emerson. And the Browns are going to have it here at their own 32-yard line. Well, pretty much everything went their way offensively in the first half, but now an interception on the opening drive of the third quarter. As we know, the key to everything here, don't get careless with the football. The problem is you've got to stay aggressive as well. So where's the line between being aggressive and attacking and being overly aggressive? I think they just crossed it on that one. Second down, here's Chubb again. And he'll be tackled right on the chalk of the 45. 111 yards for him on the ground now as he has been terrific here this afternoon. On first down, they'll run with Chubb. Now they nearly sprung him that time as he takes this all the way down to the 37. Another big hitter there. This one good for 18. So into Cardinal territory now. It's first and 10 at the 37-yard line. They'll go option to the short side. And all the way in. Touchdown, Cleveland. What a run that time from the always electric Deshaun Watson. And the Browns are able to cut into that deficit. That's a score you felt they had to have here in the third quarter to get back in this game. And you know that there was an emphasis on their side. Hey, we know this. We know where we are. But sometimes that binds you up so much that you try too hard, you don't get the score. A perfect combination of urgency, yet relaxed enough to get it done.
New York ready, and here we go as he sends this one away. And Moore, he's going to sit on this one, and the drive will begin at the 25-yard line. Ready to go with their next drive, and at the line, the Cardinal offense. And we'll see if they can bounce back from that last drive, in particular, if they can bounce back at the quarterback position, Charles, after throwing their first interception of the ball game. Yeah, and some guys, you know they're going to want to try and get a big play right away and take control back. Others, they're going to look to hit a couple shorter passes and get a little momentum back that way. But for the defense, that goal's not changing a bit. They want another pick. You're exactly right about that. In fact, you've got to watch them a little bit. Trying to fit it into more, but it's intercepted. And they will finally bring this run back to an end, but not before he's down inside the five-yard line at the four. Suddenly, it's first and goal after the interception. A quick change in the situation here. Hunt. Going to take this down just short of the goal line. He got three, but could not get the ball over the chalk. They'll try to run with Hunt, and he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. He lost two there, and it's third down. That's a nice example of good team defense right there. Ball was snapped at the one-yard line. They knocked him back and caused a loss. But you notice they were trying to find any type of a gap to run through. Wasn't one available, and they stuffed the play right there in the middle of the field. And this is going to be incomplete. Fair to say, hasn't been his best game throwing the football, but also not getting a lot of help out there either. Yeah, you kind of you nailed it pretty well, you know. <laughs> He's got to throw it better, got to get more help. Obviously one that should have been caught. they got to find a way to bring those, those two elements together so they can make some progress in this one. Here we go on fourth. Watson. And this is caught. Touchdown, Cleveland. Deshaun Watson finding Amari Cooper. And the Browns' decision to go for it pays off with six points. Big fourth down conversion for the score and the defense. That is a tough pill to swallow. Big time for them. How about them just deciding to go for it on fourth down? And, oh, okay, forget the field goal because that looked like an easy three points. Yeah, you might have had a defensive breakdown in there, but they pressed the issue and found a way to get it into the end zone. Give them big credit for that. And they decide fairly early here they need the ball back, so here's an onside kick. Now a timeout called for by the defense. It's just their first, so two remaining as they burn one here in this third quarter. the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. Ready to go with their next drive, and at the line, the Cardinal offense. So now, Charles, this drive, maybe a touch more important, trying to erase the memory of that interception they had the last time out. Yeah, and everyone goes through this because even the best in the game, you're going to have games where it just doesn't go right for you and interceptions result. So, frankly, to me, it's all about how you respond, not just the types of plays that you call, but how you carry yourself, how you show your team that you're still with it, and how you continue to lead. On second and seven. Murray, screen pass to Connor. And he's able to take this one up to the 35-yard line. Seven yards there and a first down. The start for them near flawless. Defense gets them a three and out. Two quick pass connections on offense. So that's how a team works together. Just what you described. Get them the ball, give them a little momentum. And they're capitalizing off of that. Thanks a lot, guys. First and ten is counter. 
And taken down just shy of the 40. It'll be a pickup of four, and it winds us down to the end of the third quarter. Three quarters in the books. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Following the pickup of four, here's second and six. Here's Murray. This will be caught by Brown. And he is going to lose yardage here. Right where this set of down started, they need a full 10 here to pick up the first down and move the chains. Now throwing on third down there, but he cannot connect. Critical play in this football game, because if they pick up the first there, that clock keeps rolling. Has to be a little frustrating for them, because they know that they pick up a first down there and continue to eat away at the clock, really increases their chances of closing this one out. Now they're likely going to have to give the football up and sweat it out on the sideline. And a nice job here to down this one right on the five-yard line. That is how you flip field position. That's an absolute bomb of a punt. Downs it inside the five-yard line, absolutely ideal. From that position, you're hoping to get it down inside the 15, inside the five. Superb. Looks like he's going to get a couple here on this first down carry, and that'll make it second and eight. That first down play, all you want to do is wedge out any type of space and try and create enough room. If you have to run the punter out there, he can successfully complete the punt. Yeah, didn't get a ton there, but at least some positive yardage. Now a throw here going to be taken in by the tight end to Joku. That will be tackled on the other side of midfield at the 46-yard line. That is the exact right play call against that defense. So a hat tip to the offensive play caller because he won that part of the chess match. But give credit to his players as well. They won the execution part of it. And he'll take this ahead for about four. Second down coming up. Well, that call makes sense because they've been throwing it well on this drive. And once again, they show passing formation, showing the shotgun. Then they ran out of it. That was a nice play by them defensively, though, to hold it to a short game. To throw on second and six, Watson. And that is taken in by Njoku. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made here at the Cardinals' 13-yard line. That one nearly 30 yards, 29 officially. From the 13 now, they work on first and 10. And they'll give to Hunt here on the option. Officially no gain on the play, and it's second down. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. Watson. side kick coming up. Yeah, they have to. It's not a high percentage play, but it's better than not having a chance at all. And that's when you put your leapers and your flyers on one side, get that high hop, and hope that one of the guys can come up with it. And on the other side, get that hands team ready. No doubt about it. And this one travels out of bounds. So unsuccessful there on the onside kick try. So good field position for the Cardinals as they come up first and 10, just shy of midfield at the 49. Murray again, this is Connor. And I think this defense knew what was coming as he is smothered behind the line. That's a really alert defense there because they saw the heavy look come in from the offense, countered it with extra linebackers who brought a little bit of speed and heft and able to really make a big time play for their defense. Second and 12, and you'd have to assume another all-out effort to stop the run is coming. 
Murray's going to look to throw this thing. And he'll be hauled down at about the 30-yard line. So first and 10 now from the 30. To throw, Watson. He'll get this one underneath to Hunt, and he'll be brought down at the 27. Sometimes it's hard to figure, but you can live with incompletions in this situation. You can't live with these short gains that take time off the clock. You know who loves it, this defense. They'll run with Hunt on second down. Down to the 25. Just a couple on the pickup there, and now it's third down. Now the Cards going to call another timeout, their second, as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. They'll need five on this play to move the sticks. They'll try the option right here on third down. And they take him down, losing yardage back at the 27. This defense not budging. Back-to-back -back carries of just two yards. Partner, you've got about 20 coaches on your payroll, but there's 60,000 of them in the stands. I don't think any of them like that play. And the later we go, it's starting to sound like 100,000 in here. kickoff in time and that will make this a more difficult prospect that flag accepted and it backs the offense up a little bit so here we go maybe the biggest kick of the game forthcoming this to potentially send us to overtime York able to send this one through and that will tie this game here in the final minute of play I tell you, the life of a kicker. He has not been called on the entire game. He's over there by the net, but they send him out here in the fourth quarter and say, hey, go tie the game, will you? And guess what? He comes through. I just don't know how they do it. I really don't. These cats are a different breed from you and me. That's a pressure kick, but that one was never in doubt. Ready to go with their next drive, and at the line, the Cardinal offense. And Charles, obviously not much time left. I'm curious to see if there's enough for them to get into field goal range and try to win this thing. And part of you and I both know the save calls to kneel and just take it into overtime. But it's also very tough to pass up a chance to win it right now as well. But remember, if you do attempt that, it's got to be a big play downfield and still leave yourself enough time to get your field goal unit out there and kick for the win. Now Murray. Toward the sideline, and look at that catch. Dragging the toes, and that's going to be a first down. Well done. That one goes for 24 yards. And partner in a tie game in the fourth quarter, you and I both know in the NFL, that's when you lean on your stars, and he came through with a nice catch right there. To throw is Murray. Oh, it's a screen pass. That's complete. And he'll be brought down inside the 40-yard line. The first down screen pass, good for five. And we have free football over time. Here we go, my friend. And the way this game played out, this is exactly how it should end, going to overtime, because neither one got an advantage today. It's a little teaching moment here. Overtime rules. Remind us how this goes, partner. Okay, so in the past, we had sudden death. First team to score wins, but no longer. Now, if the team receives the ball, scores a touchdown, they win the game. If they kick a field goal, though, or don't score, the other team gets a possession. And after both teams get a possession, then we're into sudden death. First team to score wins the game. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25.
corner. Ready to go with their next drive, and at the line, the Cardinal offense. Charles, you think back to halftime, they had the big lead. They were in control of this game. They lost that lead, but ultimately right now, with the ball in overtime, a chance to win this thing. And you know each guy's telling his teammate, just let it go. Don't worry about it. We're starting fresh right here. What happened before does not matter. What happens right now and going forward, that's what matters. Let's find a way to win this game. On second and ten, Murray. And he bats it away, and it falls down incomplete. You know they're going to be looking his way in overtime. He's had a fantastic game, but unable to hook up there. And how many times do we see this situation where they actually complete that pass, and you wonder to yourself, how do you let him get open? How do you not know they're going to go to him? He's a big play guy. And, this and he can't find anywhere to go with it, and he goes down. In for the sack, Miles Garrett. Okay, I'm not sure you could actually draw a better pass rush than that one right there. Nowhere to go outside. He had to keep backing up and backing up and backing up. Eventually dropped for a huge loss. Murray sets to throw on fourth. Going deep for Hopkins. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert, and they turn it over. The Cardinals unable to convert there on fourth down. And now possession will go over inside the 15-yard line. So the field goal unit is on the field, as this is a big spot right here. This to at least get them a lead here in overtime. York able to send this one through. And the Browns are going to win the football game. The partner, you and I were excited for this one today and certainly had its moments. Some good execution at times by both of these offenses. Defenses both made some plays as well. And always a joy to be up here in the booth next to you, my friend. Yeah, it's a privilege to be up here in the booth next to you as well. Thanks for taking the time. And let's go ahead and get ready for our next one, right? I'll see you in the film room. Get that preparation started now.